Hi everyone and welcome back to Sony's Developer World channel. Today we're going to be talking about the newest addition to this presence family, the HDR camera board. We're going to discuss some of its characteristics, compare it to the regular camera board, and then do a little bit of a hands-on with a very simple application to start up the camera, take a picture and save it to an SD card. So let's get started. So this camera module uses Sony's ISX019 image sensor. It has an FPGA, a color space conversion circuit, and a JPEG encoder. Which means that in addition to YCBCR, it can send RGB and JPEG images to this presence board. It works with a CMOS 8-bit parallel interface and has 1.23 megapixels. All this information can be found in the Developer World website. In contrast, the regular camera board has 5.11 megapixels and a wider field of view. So if your application benefits from image quality alone, or maybe you have an environment where you can control the lighting, maybe the regular camera is the way to go. But let me show you two sets of images that illustrate the benefits of working with the HDR camera. In the first example, we have an indoor environment against the backdrop of strong daylight. In the second one, we have a picture taken at night in a scenario with very low light conditions. So in both situations, the HDR camera delivers a much better visual result when you compare it to conventional cameras that use sensors with lower dynamic range. Also, the focus on this camera board is manually adjustable. You can focus on objects that are even two centimeters away from the camera. Okay, so let's get more practical and see how we can connect our camera board with our Spresence mainboard. They connect through this flat cable. There are two things I want you to pay attention while connecting. The first one is that the cable only goes in in one direction. The way I like to think about it is that I want the blue part of my cable to face this presence logo. And this works in both boards. The second thing is that this cable is kind of fragile, so you don't want to connect and disconnect more than necessary. For this application, we want to take a picture and save it to an SD card. So we're going to need this presence extension board and an SD card formatted to FAT32. We should insert our SD card in the extension board and then connect the main board to the extension board. So now that we're connected, let's start programming. To speed things up for this video, I already went through my environment setup. But if this is your first time using Spresence with the Arduino IDE, I'm going to leave a link in the description of the video for a getting started guide that you can follow to have your environment set up just like mine. So this application is based on the camera example that already comes with this presence library. I just removed everything that wasn't completely essential, so we have a cleaner code for this video. We're going to use the camera and SD libraries. With the camera library, we can use the camera class, which has three major functions. Video stream function to get camera preview image, the setting function to set camera parameters, and the capture picture function to get high resolution JPEG image. We start by initializing SD card and serial communication. Then we call the camera's begin method. We choose the picture's parameters, width, height, and format. I chose quad VGA, which is 320 by 240, and left the default format, which is JPEG. Then we call the camera's take picture method, and if the picture is available, we write it to the SD card. Otherwise, we print an error message. Then we call the camera's end method. I'm going to flash this to my Spresence board by pressing the upload button. Now that it's flashed, let's see my app running by opening the serial monitor. We see that the picture was taken and saved in my SD card. Also, this code looks the same whether you choose the HDR camera or the regular camera for your project. And that's it for today's video. Please check our website for more tutorials and technical documentation. Also, don't forget to use our forum if you have any technical questions. See you in the next one!